do it all over here, man. It's the process. What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the process. So, uh, <laughs> they out here again, man. I ain't gonna bring it up today, man, but they over there. So, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna make this intro short and sweet. I wanna discuss a few things with y'all. Uh, first being, this video is gonna be about a few different things. Uh, I'm gonna announce my giveaway. I wanna do a new subscriber giveaway. So, what it's gonna be about is, when I snatch this motor out, so when I snatch this 350 out and get ready to install my next engine, I'm gonna go ahead and offer y'all this engine as a giveaway. So, I really didn't think about the details too hard. I'm gonna keep it simple. I wanna try to get to 2,000 subscribers, man, as soon as possible. If y'all give me to 2,000 subscribers, man, ASAP. I'm taking down all my new subscribers names i'm into y'all into the giveaway you just gotta follow my instagram if you got TikTok, follow like at least one of my social media pages and then subscribe to my channel you're gonna be automatically entered into winning this 350 engine and uh even some of my current subscribers man if y'all interested too we can work something out i'll figure it out later on man but as of right now it's gonna be a new subscriber giveaway and no i'm not going to pay to have this engine shipped hopefully y'all can be local or y'all ready to come make a drive man and come pick this boy up it's pickup only not delivered i can't deliver it to you can't ship to you nothing like that man pickup only you know it runs pretty good i'm gonna go ahead and crank it up real fast good I don't see any issues with it and it is a couple of oil leaks I want to say the front seal around the timing chain cover and then the rear main seal I don't know if that's transmission fluid or oil I'm seeing back there in the back by the rear seal it could just be transmission fluid coming from the uh, converter turn it back off it could be oil coming from the trans from the converter so that might not be engine oil so as of right now, all I really seen is oil coming from the timing chain cover area. So I mean, man, overall, you got a chance to win a free engine that's running. There's nothing wrong with it. You just, I got an exhaust leak. If y'all heard that, like exhaust ticking, but that's it, man. I may pull the carburetor off because it has a highly performance carb on there. I don't know what size that is, but I may keep that. Or if y'all run my numbers up ASAP, I'll just give it to you complete, man. Engine, carb, intake, everything. Even with them headers, I give you the headers too. I don't even care. It's coming out. Alright. So that's one phase. I gotta hurry up. I'm getting ready to go downtown for the auto show. I got my guy Corey. I think I just heard my phone ring, but uh Corey392 on Instagram, man. My guy who blessed my channel once before with his old school Regal. Gonna link up with me. Go down there and, you know, we're gonna hit the auto show together, man. Get some good content for y'all. I'll show y'all some of these concept cars, some of these new cars that we can't afford. <laughs> well, some of y'all can. I'm trying to get my money up now so I can get me one. But, uh, man, real quick. Y'all see my floor pans. If y'all seen my how to repair, how to repair a G body floor pan video, that I posted like back in June, I want to say. I'm going to put up a little picture right there. If you ain't see it, go watch that video right now, man. How to repair floor pans on a G-Body. So, I had a guy leave me a comment. Now, y'all know I taught myself how to weld. All that. I learned how to weld probably within a week's period. 
came in here and knocked out this flow pan repair, man. And I think it came out excellent for somebody who, this is my first time ever doing this kind of a job. Again, I'm a painter, man. I paint cars, do some light body work, some light mechanical repairs and stuff like that, man. But basically, I'm a guy who's working out of my garage. This is my toy car. This is my hobby. This is my project. I'm like anybody else who work from home, who work on their projects. I ain't a professional, nothing. You know, I used to be a painter, man. I used to be a mechanic back in the day, back in the day before I retired. But as of right now, I'm not labeling myself as a professional anything when it comes to cars. But I had a guy leave me a message saying, oh man, don't piece your flow pants together like that. If you can't do it right, don't do it at all. You're messing up a classic. Basically, he just went hard on me. I'm sitting, I'm sitting here thinking to myself, like, bro, did you even watch my first videos, the flow pan prep, you know, or did you just watch the last video when I did everything and got it all finished up? Because I clearly said in my first videos that this is my first time doing a floor pan repair. I am not a professional, but I'm finna go ahead and do this the best I can, which I did. So, come on now, homie. Chill out. We just, we just, we just, we just out here putting in work. I keep on stressing the do-it-yourself campaign. You know, it's hard to find a shop. Trust me, I did look, I called around. I was begging folks, welding shops to do this job for me. I had 2,500 cash, man, in my pocket one day at a shop. I couldn't find nobody to do it for me, so I did it myself. And I'm glad I did, and I'm proud of how it came out. So keep some of them negative comments to yourself, man. I appreciate you leaving me a comment and watching my videos. Thank you. You're running up my numbers. You're doing me a favor, low key, man. But keep all that negative energy to yourself. If you want to see a professional do some work, go find a professional channel to watch. I don't know what to tell you. I'm E Profit, do it yourself campaign over here, baby. But uh, that's that. Last but not least. I had a guy ask me about some of my t-shirts, man. My e Profit Detroit The Process t-shirts. So let me show you what I got over here. I do got a few shirts that's available. I'm still printing up shirts, man. You know, mainly for me to wear. But if y'all interested in rocking The Process shirts, I got Trust The Process shirts coming real soon. I got a few thermos over here, man. Hopefully y'all can see this. What's this say? Third, it's my third gen game. Let me turn my microphone around. So I got some thermos. Got a few different sizes, man. If y'all interested in getting you a thermo, hit me up. Third gen game. T-shirts and thermos. I just made me a dope little jersey. I might Put this in the collection, man, on a rotation. I'm wearing this to the Midwest Fest this weekend, so that's the process on the back. You feel me? My vision, my process. Stamped out, boy. So, I got a little bit of merch around here, man, but uh, y'all let me know, man. Hit them comments. Hit up my Instagram if you want to get you a t-shirt. I can ship one out to you. We can, we can take care of this, man. I might throw some away for free. I might sell some. It depends on what you want to go with. So, all right, that's enough, man. I got, like, what, just eight minutes on this intro? Let me go ahead and get ready. Hit this auto show. Bring out some dope content. All right, so I'm downtown Detroit. I'm at the Huntington place, which is Cobo Hall, man. I'm old school Detroit. It's gonna always be Cobo in my heart. You feel me? I'm at the auto show. My boy Corey then blessed me some of these auto show tickets. He couldn't make it down. He was a little tied up, be a busy man. You know, I feel him, but still good looking out, bro. Appreciate you. But I'm gonna get up in here, man. Grab some of this content. Hopefully see some good cars, man. I heard it ain't what it used to be, but I'm gonna still walk around and feel the vibe out, you know. Hopefully see some good cards, man. But uh, if this is your first time on my channel, man, hit that subscribe button. This is what I do. I bring car content. So if you're a car enthusiast, if you love cars, baby, you're in the right place. 
So let's go up in here, see what's up. Let's get to it. and came in in the forward area. This is not my area. But we gonna still walk around to get some forward products anyway, man. Why not? See what's going on with it. It is a, a little toned down from what I'm used to, man. The auto show used to go hard. They used to have cars everywhere. It's a lot less uh, compact up in here. All right, we got a Mustang going. Let's go see the Mustang. That new Silverado, that's what I want to see. It's the EV, electric vehicle. I like this boy, I can't lie. much out here for show the first ever all electric equinox how you doing Corvette fans at. Transmission. What is this over here? That's the LS? We are LS fans, man. I don't know what that is. Gotta be some futuristic LS. 
6.2 That's good a good video of this uh Corvette over here man that blue that's a hot blue CJ on 32 is blue that's what I'm gonna call that Got some Camaros over here. Oh, we're finna go that way. He look uninterested over here. He ain't wanna come to work today. <laughs> I don't know what some of these cars are, man. I don't know that. That's a G-Wagon over there. I know that. Oh, come on now. Is that an El Camino? Is that an El Camino, my boy? Yep. Gotta come over here and see the El Camino. Look at the. Oh yeah, we're finna get some good footage of this. Is that electric? Look at that. An electric. 1972 Chevy El Camino. Wow. Classic. Change my mind. I'm finna go fully electric with my El Camino, man. No 454, no 383, EV. That's where it's at. That's crazy. That's hard, though. That's going to be our Hornet RT. And the Hornet RT is going to be equipped with a 1.3 liter engine in the front that runs off a starter generator. And then we're going to have those rear electric motors in the back. And those rear electric motors are going to run off of a 15.5 kilowatt hour battery, giving you up to 30 miles of all electric range. And not only that, because of that instant torque to the back wheels, you're going to get up to 285 we are also really excited to announce to you that we are going to bring the GT out as well. And the Hornet GT is going to be equipped with a 2 liter Hurricane I 4 engine, giving you best in class 265 horsepower. So now we're bringing back that GLH package and we are going to put it on all of our Hornet models. It's going to give you a larger exhaust system, a sport suspension, and there's going to be more horsepower than ever, which is That center console, the infotainment center, and even your HVAC vents will all be just more of a degree slightly towards you.
says. What size wheels is those? Some little bitty ass cops, ain't they? They all five feet tall. What's your son about these tie holes? It just catch my eye. Uh So uh, it's definitely a different vibe down here. It's uh, not what it used to be. So I'm about to rate this auto show probably like a three or a four. You feel me from what I'm used to. But I heard they got some outside events this year, summertime auto show. So I'm gonna go out here and take a look, see what's going on. Got some monster trucks over here in the background. But you know, anyway, I'm gonna make this party kind of short, man. I don't know. It's kind of dead, but still. Make sure y'all subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button, share, leave a comment, all that YouTube stuff y'all already know. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. Time for a hard stop, hard stop on the Monster Ride Truck. Crunch time is D, you undone of the day. Oh, automatic. He did a great job today. He had three rides from 3.30 to 6.30. Hard stop at 6.30. Yeah, this really ain't my cup of tea right here, but uh, I'm going to still walk around and get a little bit of content. I'll probably just end up over here by the water. be honest with you.
So uh, I'm giving this auto show two thumbs down. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. But anyway, thank y'all for watching this. I'm finna go ahead and head out. All right, so I'm leaving the auto show. Uh, like I said, I give it a two thumbs down. It wasn't what I was used to. It was kind of toned down. Wasn't too many manufacturers out there. Just the big three, pretty much. But they have some decent cars, man. Hope y'all enjoyed the content. But uh, take off my hat, man. I'm sweating up my new locks. Team Dreads, where y'all boys at, man? <laughs> but anyway, man. My next show gonna be the uh, Midwest Fest in Indianapolis. Stay tuned in for that content. Hopefully it'll be a lot better, man. I'm gonna have some folks with me, so we're gonna bring y'all some live content, you feel me? But otherwise, stay tuned in for my 350 small block Chevy giveaway. And uh, you know, of course I got the Elko process coming, man. So, like I always say, if y'all like this video, leave me a comment, share it, all that YouTube stuff, y'all already know.